order. I call the honourable member for. Well, member for Fairfax. I can only dump people and recognise them when they stand. Okay. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. My constituents are concerned about the sale of Qantas. The flying kangaroo represents Australia around the world. Some people in other countries may not know where Australia is, but they know our country by the flying kangaroo. The Queensland Northern Territorial Aerial Service is part of Australia, just like Holden Carr's meat pies. Well, I should say meat pies because Holden's going. What would anyone do, what would you do, if you had a chief executive that lost consistently over a billion dollars every year in the value of your business? I wouldn't keep him, even for six months, let alone for five or six years. The, um, when we, the first of the 5,000 people to lose their jobs at Qantas should be the chief executive, the chairman and then the board. Qantas CEO doesn't have any performance, just failure, failure, and why is this so? The focus on the airline needs to be on making a profit. By having ridiculous fares that are not sustainable, $69 from Brisbane to Sydney, $499 return to Tokyo, he only runs down the capitalisation of the airline. I remember it was approaching $10 million. Today it's just over $2 billion. The CEO and the board of Qantas have destroyed Qantas' value. And it remains that when, the, that, when, that when they took it over, Air New Zealand had been unable to grow because of the fiasco with ANSET. Today, Air New Zealand is making a good profit. Well, what has happened to Qantas is that it's continued to decline. Maybe Qantas should recruit the next CEO from Bondi or Auckland. Australia must keep its national airline. Australian super funds would be more than happy to support Qantas's financial needs, but first it needs new management and a sustainable business plan and a profit. I'm sure all the senators from my party and the motorists will vote against any changes to the Qantas Sale Act in the Senate. So such a proposal strikes against the very interests of the Australian people. If a foreign airline were to control competition, airfares to and from Australia would be the most expensive in the Western world. Governments all over the world ensure their national carrier is owned by companies domiciled in their own countries, so should the Australian Parliament.